Hey, welcome. Uh, Evangelist Jamie Miller. Um, some are asking uh, me about catfish bait and uh, what, what I use like for channel cat. Um, I'm going to put some bait here together for you. That's uh, breasted chicken. Um, I use a lot of breasted chicken for like uh, channel catfish. Um, I know some people have used it for channel uh, or, uh, flatheads and uh, blue cats. Works just as well, but I think that it works better for channel cats. And uh, so I'm going to go and uh, put this together for you and kind of get an idea. I mean, there's a lot of YouTube videos on this particular bait on uh, chicken breasts, uh, but I haven't got one on my YouTube page. So I thought, maybe, well, I'll make my own instead of maybe borrowing someone else's YouTube video on this chicken breast bait for uh, it's chicken breast Kool-Aid is what it is mixed together. And uh, instead of borrowing theirs, I figured, I'll just, you know, I'm a fisherman. I'm a cat fisherman as well. I'll just make my own. So I'm going to get my knife out. a boot knife I've got my knife at home so yeah I got this uh, chicken here that I got from uh, department stores and uh, you get it from uh, Walmart Myers anywhere any department store you can get some cheap uh, chicken breast meat but don't get anything expensive I mean I know people have used uh, kool-aid uh, for like for uh, hot dogs um, uh, chicken livers other meat I mean that's an inexpensive meat but there's meat out there it's pretty expensive uh, I wouldn't waste your money on it chicken uh, chicken breast works just as fine and I got uh, different kind of chicken breasts here. It's chicken breasts. In Northern Oma, I use plain chicken breasts uh, uh, for this uh, recipe, putting together. But I got some chicken breasts here. It's with the garlic powder already on it. So uh, for some of you know about garlic powder, or even garlic itself, when you uh, walk into a kitchen or anywhere where it's cut, being cut up or being used, you know it's garlic right away. It's really stinky, and it works great for catfish. Um, there's a piece of it right here. So what I'm gonna do is gonna cut these up in little pieces. Some of them you can uh, cut them up in. Uh, uh, I use a lot. I use a, a five out hook, six out hook, which is just as great for uh, channel cats. Channel cats don't get real big. Um, and the biggest one I've caught was uh, 25 pounds. I know they get up to 30 pounds. I've heard get, they've got they get bigger than that too, but they don't get as big as the blue cats and uh, flatheads. So yeah, if you just cut them up like pieces like this, I got more of uh, I don't have a real thick chicken breast here, but it's, it's thinner. It's a thinner one, it works just fine though. It's a big chunk of it. I'll just cut that right, like little nuggets. Looks perfect. Just like that. Just enough to fit the, your, the hook size that you have. I'm gonna just, I'll probably just go ahead and cut all this up. Just cut all this up really here. Some pieces I like to have a little bigger, you know, if you're looking for the bigger bigger uh, catfish, you want them little ones to nibble on it, they'll nibble on it anyway. That's channel cat, they'll nibble it on it anyway. Um, but think about if you use a bigger piece, you can, uh, like this, it's a bigger chunk piece. Um, little ones might nibble on it, but might have enough time for a bigger one to come by and uh, Get it on, get, get it on the get itself on the hook. Cut these up real good. I'm here in Independence Dam. Some of you may may be familiar with it. Um, the dam is right over there. Um, so the Maumee River is right behind me. I'm going to save that piece. I'm just going to start on this here. So, okay, what you want to do? I'm going to wipe the hands off. Make sure you get yourself a baggie, good sized baggie, you can fit it all in so you can mix it all up. But yeah, this is the bait I use a lot for uh, uh, channel catfish. Like I said, some people come ask me, what, what bait do you use? And uh, I said, well, here it is. This is one of the baits I use. It's not an all time bait I use, but it's one of the baits I use for uh, channel catfish. And I tell you, it works marvelous, it works great. It's an awesome bait. I mean, you can catch channel catfish on night crawlers, shad. Um, cut baits, but but something with this bit kind of bait here works really good for channel catfish. So yeah, I just got it in the bag here. So the next thing you do, um, I got a little extra chicken in there, so I might have not enough Kool-Aid to coat it. I like to use cherry Kool-Aid. Cherry Kool-Aid works really good. It's a bright color. I mean, you can use any kind of uh, Kool-Aid. You can gel. Gel is really good because it sticks really well. Um, you can use uh, lemonade. You can use grape Kool-Aid. Uh, but I like cherry, it's really bright, it's red, 
I like it really, I like to have the chip really nice and bright. I mean, I've always, uh, you can use any other uh, type of Kool-Aid or any kind of brand, but it'll work. But I've always used uh, Cherry Kool-Aid because it always worked for me. So, I mean, if it works, the old saying goes, if it's not bro uh, broken, if it works, don't try to fix it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm not going to try to fix this up. It works for me just fine. Okay, I got the two packs of Kool-Aid in. Any kind of Kool-Aid will work. Looks like I'm bleeding. That's Kool-Aid. Uh, use uh, garlic powder. Garlic powder is really stinky. It's good stuff. Um, like I said, this is an old recipe. It's been around for a while. People have been making this for a while. Uh, this this uh, blend, blending this all together for uh, channel catfish um, or any kind of catfish, really. I've, I've known people catching flatheads off of this kind of bait. Uh, uh, blue cats, but it really looks really effective on uh, channel catfish. And as you guys know, I'm a passionate catfisher. It's all I fish for. You know, like I said on my YouTube page, 95% um, of the time I fish for catfish, and the other 5%, I'm usually catching bait fish to catch catfish. So I'm 100% catfish. I love it. And if you watch some of my videos, you'll explain why I like it. So here, here we go. Let's get back in this, you know, the rabbit trail here. Okay, I got uh, my chicken. Uh, uh, I got it all cut up. I got the uh, Kool-Aid in there. As you can see, it's already turning red. I got garlic powder. I usually put about half the bottle in, half the, the can in there. Just pour it all in there, make it all nice and stinky. Yeah, a little more. Get stingy. So then you do that, and you put some vanilla extract in. That helps with the flavor. Helps with the smell. A little bit of that in there, eh, a little more than that. Put some of that in there. Close the bag up. Just mix it all up. Mix it all up real good. Like I said, I got a little extra chicken in here, so I probably could have used another pack of Kool-Aid, but that's fine. I've done that before and it still works, so I can't wait to use it. Yeah, while mixing this, what you need to do is also, if you want to, like, I'm not going to fit, I'm not going to probably use this for probably another three days, four days, so that's all right. Put it in the fridge, keep it in the fridge for three, three or four days, so it marinate that really good. Hope you guys can hear me. Well, I, I'm fighting a cold, so it's getting over a cold. My voice probably sounds kind of funny. But this is one of the rivers, the Maumee Rivers, is one of the rivers, major rivers I fish on. I fish on Maumee River a lot. And being up here in this uh, northwestern part of Ohio, I do a lot of fishing up in this area on the Auglaze, Maumee, Tiffin River. Okay. That's nice and red, quite smelly. There you go. I mean, you can see how right red that is. That's all, all, that's all to it for this bait. This bait works really good for channel catfish. I still got a, I still got a piece left here I could probably use. Oops. Yeah, I'll get it later. All my trash bags. This is a DNR area, so all my trash bags kind of got away. I'll get that before I get in trouble. But I got one piece left, and I've seen a couple cats up, up down by the river. I'll maybe give that to them, feed them. Look like little runaways. Look like they might be hungry. So anyway, uh, here you go. It's all ready to go. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube page, it's Two Passions Fishing. Um, Evangelist Jamie Miller. Uh, uh, hit like, share. And subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'm gonna try to put videos out every every week, if not every other two weeks. I'll try to be, try my best to be consistent because um, I love what I do. Uh, I love sharing Christ, and uh, I do a lot of that on my Facebook uh, channel. And I want to do that on my YouTube channel, uh, show you and tell people about my two passions. Uh, two passions I have is sharing Christ on the streets and sharing Christ with anybody I come across, um, come in contact with, and and. This is my second passion, uh, uh, fishing for catfish. I love catfishing, and I try to do as much as I can. As long as that water is open, that's January, uh, January uh, 3rd. It's not bad. I mean, it's 50 degrees today, which is unusual weather for this time of the year for us. And I'm taking the, uh, advantage of the advantage of it. And but as long as the water is open, I'm fishing. The water is actually kind of high today, so uh, probably I'll probably go find a reservoir today and do some fishing today. But, this is it right here, um, ready to go. Um, you can even freeze this too and save it and for you know when you want to take it out to go fishing. But have it unthawed before you put it on your hook. It doesn't stay on the hook real well when it's frozen. But 
Uh, thanks for watching. Like I said before, like and share. It's Two Passions Fishing right here, right at you. Keep Christ in your life. Trust Christ for life and fish. Fish hard.